Happy Monday, everyone, and Groundhog Day. I'm meteorologist Todd Nelson with a look at your extreme weather outlook for weather bug. And, of course, Punxsutawney Phil forecasting another six weeks of winter. Uh, this on the heels of a record snowfall that fell in places like Chicago. We'll talk about that heading out into the northeast here today and some pretty heavy northwest rainfall and just moisture alone over a five day period. But this was the view from Des Moines, Iowa, where they picked up 11.3 inches of snow yesterday. Chicago 16.2 yesterday becomes the snowiest uh, 24 hour period in uh, February day. And now starting to see that heavy snow transition ease. But just through this morning, here's some of the heaviest tallies that we can find uh, total uh, in Chicago from yesterday and this morning and the day prior, 19.3. And that storm total of 19.3 as of 6 a.m. becomes the fifth largest storm in Chicago's history. And some of the snow drifts were feet high due to a lot of that wind blowing around. Here's the view from New York City, warming up a little bit here. So kind of a, a snowy, icy, slushy mix. The farther north you go, though, Boston seeing all snow. And they're set to pick up maybe an additional 7 to 11 inches just today. And that, of course, could help to bring their weak snow to snowstorm total to around 31 and a half inches. That from that two feet that we had last week and potentially what we see today. But this potentially could be the snowiest week in Boston's recorded history. And the snow eventually tapering tonight and early tomorrow. But again, lots of snow to be shoveling and plowing here in the northeast over the next uh, couple of days. Meanwhile, clipper systems rolling into the Midwest. Minimal amounts of snowfall. And all of this will be breaking breaking off of our pretty stout Pacific flow, and this is going to be inundating the Pacific Northwest. Over the next five days, some areas here could pick up several inches of precipitation, which is going to be a pretty active week ahead.